Hello everyone, myself Dr. Pooja, your own physiology faculty at Cerebellum. And today I have with me Dr. Sean, who got 212 mark in the very, very first attempt of FMG exam in January 2025. So a uh, very warm welcome and heartiest congratulations, Dr. Sean. Thank you, ma'am. How you, are you feeling after getting 212 marks? Um, I'm feeling really happy, ma'am. Actually, Actually, I expected this mark because I used to get it uh, during my grand test. So that's why. So, so <laughs> tell, tell me uh, something about yourself. Where are you from? And yes, where you did from how you started the preparation? Yes, ma'am. My name is uh, Dr. Sean Zong, and I'm, I have graduated from uh, Venetia National Pirago Memorial University, Ukraine. And it's my first attempt, and I got to tell mark. And I just followed uh, mission 200 plus class. That's it. That's what I So when you were studying in your university, you started preparing like some subjects, you started reading there, or you started completely after coming to India? Uh, yes, ma'am. Actually, I did my clinical subjects before. I, mean, uh, I haven't done any revision, but I just gone through and just got some ideas regarding clinical subjects. Then, then after like I subjects, like revised with, like which yeah, of, with? yeah, it's OBS gyne, then medicine, surgery, like that. So, and after coming to India, you started preparing properly for the FMG, right? Yes, ma'am. Excellent. Yeah. So what was your schedule? Like what you used to do? Because the mission classes are usually in the evening. So what you used to do during daytime? Ma'am, uh, I used to do the revision. Means I, I did my classes online uh, then uh, the next day i used to do the questions like uh, i used to do like 100 questions daily 100 to 150 then after i did my revision then i just followed the online classes yeah, according right. to the schedule all right so for you guys we started late night pyq so you used to give that after class yeah ma'am yeah i gave it that was so the good part means really we need to familiar with the uh, uh, PYQs and all, so that was really helpful. All right. So you used to give the late night PYQs, and in, during the daytime, you used to revise the class. Plus, you used to do the hundred MCQs on an average, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. That's that's wonderful. So, uh, did you attend all the classes? Yeah, ma'am. I attended all classes. Yeah. So no risk taken, right? Should no I... left. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't left anything. Actually, I was like kind of obsessed with the classes and the schedule was really amazing. Like, so really, it's not that much hectic to follow. So that was the good part. Yeah. So in the evening, you used to sit for the uh, classes and you followed uh, consistently the classes. Then we had the lab two, lab three, like marathon classes and the, uh, you know, lab two also in between. So yes, did you attended all those classes with us? Yeah, lab two, I did everything, every class. Yeah, that was a good, good revision for me. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, and lab three also, I did almost every classes, and means it's better to follow that that schedule for getting the short term memory and all. So it's really amazing for the like for the revision part. So yeah. uh, you said that you used to do the questions like around 100 questions every day. Some yes, students uh, get demotivated when they do not get the answers correctly. Or let's say most of that, let's say 50% were wrong answers, right? They couldn't get through, yeah. uh, but they expected more marks. So how you used to, you know, make yourself yes, realize that, no, whatever happens, happens. I have to solve the question. Like how you used to come back to that? Um, I'm actually... Uh... Like we have to do more questions for, like we have to develop the skill for the tackling those questions, like eliminating those wrong options. As you, in fact, you all suggested us to do that. Means we have to give more priority to do the question. Then that's the main part. So you don't want to worry about the wrong wrong answers because, like, what like we'll be developing like after doing many questions. So. I found that it was really useful for me. So no matter whatever marks come, you just yeah. have to do your mistakes, right? Yeah, yeah. Like you have to evaluate that. You have to, yeah, you have to reverse it whatever properly. Whatever mistakes you have to do, you have to do right now, not in the exam. Yeah, not in the exam. Yeah, I built that confidence by doing a lot of questions. So 
So yeah, eventually yeah. it will fall place that uh, fall into place yes, that yes, this course will increase. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Exactly. Yeah. So, uh, any advice for your juniors? Uh, how you maintain your discipline, consistency, your anxiety? Like any advice from your side, but yes, ma'am. Actually, it's, it's not big deal to pass this exam. Like if you, have, if you really stick with the schedule, like if you trust the source, like this, and the main thing is self belief. And gave more importance to do the questions. That's the more important thing, and and it's not that much problem to pass the exam. <laughs> That's what I felt. Means I studied for almost uh, almost fourteen hours, fourteen to fifteen hours since the start itself. I maintained that consistency and the, the, that discipline, and so that was really helpful for me. At at that last time, I built that confidence to. Perform in the exam. I didn't panic during while giving the exam. Means the first paper was somewhat. Uh, means I felt the questions were out of the box, but I managed it. What were you were doing you? between the breaks? Like you said, that first question, uh, first paper was not that good. So some yeah. students got panicked out. They get anxious yeah. that what is going to happen, right? So what you were doing during that break time between the first and second uh, part? I didn't bother much. That means I know that I did. I'm I did my best. That's what I means. I didn't bother. I didn't think about those questions. What I made wrong or not? Like I just prepare myself to perform better Next. in second. Yeah, second part. Yeah. All so, right. Yeah. So basically, have confidence, have faith in yourself. Yes, Whatever you have studied, that is sufficient. No yes, matter what happens uh, yeah. or happened in the past, it is not going to change. You just have to move on and prepare for the next uh, upcoming thing, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. That's right. So I think that confidence you gain from, as you said uh, beforehand, also that you have given many GTS, you have solved so many questions, so many times, right? So ultimately, yes, it you know it's kind of uh, it builds up the habit for the exams, giving exams, isn't it? Exactly, ma'am. Yeah. So that is that is of course your scores uh, are telling us that uh, your concepts must be stronger. So yes. anything, any you know, sometimes it feels like okay, let's do the class later on. So any uh, any time this occurred to you? No, ma'am. Uh, actually, I stick with my schedule. I Means uh, the cerebellum schedule. I just followed those, like I followed it with discipline. I maintained that consistency. So. I didn't skip any day. Means those so no five months, five to six months. <laughs> yeah, ma'am. I didn't, didn't just give anything, months. any distraction, a chance. Yes, ma'am. I didn't give anything. <laughs> so, yeah. any anything um, related to you know classes or any quote or any teacher that you want to you know, say something about you know during the classes that happened or comes in your mind? No, no, ma'am. Actually, I I enjoyed the classes. It means it was like. I didn't feel that much hectic and all means. I really enjoyed those classes and those uh, motivation that it was really helpful for us. So, so basically, you were I enjoying, and I think that is the uh, you know that is the base of you being calm and not you know panic out. So I think yes, you sir. enjoy studying basically. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I just want to tell thank you for that. Means it's all about about your effort and all. Oh, yeah. It's your effort, your hard work. We are glad to be a part of your success story, Vita. And yes. uh, definitely, it's uh, uh, not over yet because now the bar of expectation from you has been raised. We want yes, the same <laughs> results that we want the news that you have cracked the neat PG or I and I said also. I hope so. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So thank you for uh, sharing uh, the nice thoughts, and uh, you know you had a wonderful, wonderful score. So I was glad to take your interview, and uh, thank you. Thank you. Enjoy. My, this is uh, your time. Enjoy till the fullest. Thank you, ma'am. It was my pleasure, ma'am. <laughs> See you in the cerebellum, mala ceremony, definitely. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Chalo. Okay. See you. Bye bye. Bye. Ma'am.